Hey, and welcome in the first video tutorial in a series of video tutorials on Soft Images XSI Mato. Uh, XSI Mato is basically a demo version of Soft Images XSI. I'm currently using version 6.0.6.01, uh, as can be seen up here. Uh, once you start it, you have this screen. Which is net, which is pretty much the net view. Uh, there used to be tutorials made by Noasis, as can be seen here. These are these are the tutorials, but they no longer exist. So I thought I'd make my own tutorial series on Soft Image XSI. So let's get started. First of all, you, okay. Let's see here. First of all, let's start by navigation. Down here is the animation strip. You can animate stuff and that's pretty much the timeline. Right here are just some stuff. Mm, some stuff here. These are uh, options and tools to uh, use the objects and stuff. And up here is just more stuff. I'm going to get to those later. Uh, uh, first of all, I'm going to go here to these things. These are important. Actually, this entire strip here is important. What this basically does, this is um, the track key. You can use it to maneuver your object around. Left click, and you get this. Right click, you can sort of uh, dolly and or rotate, and with the middle button or mouse three, if your mouse, you can zoom in, zoom out. And I think new. No, that was the wrong one. Um. Yeah. Here, this I shows you how many uh, polygons, which are triangles, are in the thing and objects. And from now on, I'm going to use S to do this, which is the hockey. And I'm trying to find the freaking hotkey to. Ah, there we go. Okay, um, found it. R uh, jumps back out to the start position, or view entire object better. And um, yeah, this here is camera option backwards and forwards, and I think this is what I just did. Let's see, yeah, that's what I just did. That's R. Now let's get started with, by making a simple object. You go to create. Go to the objects, then you got these objects here. Just sphere, cubus, then a cone, cylinder, torus, disc, a, a grid, pretty much, and the node. Or not, sorry, not. Then here are lights. This is a normal light, just ambient. And this is a directed light. And here you can create circles and squares, and uh, if I can still remember how to use them, we're going to use those later. So let's get started by making a cube. Right here you've got the length. This is the length for all sides. So we can increase it like this. Just gonna go by one. So what I usually use for cinematics and stuff. Down here you can uh, increase the amount of sides. I'm gonna make this bigger here. You can uh, make four and even more. Uh, this this just dedicate uh, dictates the triangles, and you can sort of make a grid here if you want. And this one here does the base. So you can pretty much just make a cube like this. So I'm gonna go back to one. So in here, my bearings gonna go back to eight. Oops. So now to the now to some other stuff. Um, now on the numpad, if you press plus, you double the amount of polygons or sides, and you can sort of start to make a sphere out of your cube. But it still has the amount of polygons here. If you go to status, you can see that's the amount of polygons here, but it still has pretty much the same side thingies. This is quite fun. You can by pressing minus, you can 
sort of remove that. And this just um, this is one, two, three, four, five. You can only, or actually four. You can only do this four times. So let's go back here. Just I just remove this. Um, now let's create a sphere. This is the radius of the sphere, meaning uh, the middle to the outside, not the entire diameter, but the radius. Meaning this sphere's got a diameter of four. I think it's either using inches or centimeters. I regard these as centimeters. So if I press eight, and then I type eight, I get 16, and two equals four, and not bad. But if you're animating, you should know that already. So this here, the U and the V, dictates how many sides it has. 24 is not the maximum, as can be shown here. It's 200. And here, that uh, dictates the sides upwards. And it's quite funny because it can make um, shapes like a diamond with it. But back to the sphere for now. Down here, you can set how much of the sphere should be there. If you go 180, which I'm just going to type in, you get a half sphere. If you type, three, if you type 90, quarter, and 360 is whoops, full sphere. Same here, except that's only half, meaning 90 is the half of the sphere, and 45 is a quarter. And 180 sphere again. So, the next thing. This here are the uh, raycast selects. This is right. This is the uh, point. You could just sort of you can select a couple of points here. For example, this, and you can just drag it out and I'm using the hockeys right now but this is resize this is turn and I just did that using shift but shift it um, locks every I think 25 or so degrees and this is the move and these are X C and V. Okay, with a tweak, as far as I know, you can, yes, you can just move around these. And you can also, so you can do pretty much anything you want with it. You can just take that and just make a spiky ball or whatever. Do all kinds of crap. And there's this, the magnet. Which is, uh, as far as I know, uh, makes it stay in there or something. I'm gonna turn that off. Now this tool I haven't used yet. Ah, and you can. Uh, ah, it's the lock thing. You can sort of lock it. It's like uh, pressing shift. I haven't worked with this uh, for a long time, so. Okay, now to this raycast select. This selects these edges. So I can pretty much pull that out. You can also delete them, and it looks crappy, and it, the thing's open. And this here is the headlight, by the way. And as you can see, there's a lot of polygon crap going around in there. So just pressing Control Z, and it's gone. Okay, this here is the, you have to check that, you can see, polygon, the polygon is one of these circles, you can just sort of select the entire radius by pressing alt and mouse 3, and then you can just make it bigger if you want, and space by the space bar, by the way, deselects the tool you're, you were just using. You can make funny spherical thingies with this. 
Okay, that pretty much uh, concludes the first tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. So, um, yeah. Sort of peace out or whatever.